Hi, I'm certified nutritionist Mira Calton. And I'm Dr. Jason Calton, and welcome to this episode of Cooking with the Coltons. So what are we making today, Mira? Well, today we're starting where we left off last time, which was this mayonnaise didn't make itself. This was actually in the first video that we did of our five minute mayonnaise. Right. We're gonna start with that as the base and we are gonna make two delicious dips. Right. The first one we're gonna make is your favorite. Yes. And that's the blue cheese dip. It's mm. really creamy, great on wings, great on salads, great on chicken, it's amazing. Yeah. The second one that we're gonna make is something that I really enjoy and it's just a Cajun mayonnaise just to show you how many different flavor concepts we can come up with. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but actually that's gonna go on our um, salmon um, croquettes tonight. Great, so <laughs> let's just start off and explain where we're starting from. Like Mira said, this is our skinny fat five minute mayo from Rich Food Poor Food. Um, what we did is we just took out about half of what we made, and we this is this is that part, and we just left half here in the Vitamix. And so that's really where it begins. We usually do this kind of all at once. Right. We take out half the mayo, Mira brings in everything else for the blue cheese and the other dips that dipping sauces we like to make, and we just blend them right up here to say where we made the mayo. Absolutely, and this has our new product skinny fat in it. So if you do not yet know what skinny fat is, it is a fat that burns body fat, doesn't store body fat, which means that you can have the dips and the sauces and the marinades and all that stuff with a fabulous new oil that isn't gonna go directly to your hips. Right, skinny fat's fantastic because it takes something we call MCT oil or medium chain triglycerides right. that like Mira said, does not get stored as body fat, helps with brain function, helps to rev metabolism, actually burns body fat, and we combine it with organic, virgin coconut oil, which right. so many people love already. But the problem really with coconut oil in the kitchen is it makes kind of everything taste like coconut oil. It's also and solid at room temperature. Exactly. So when you combine the two oils together, you can see this is, these are the bottles over here. They're liquid even at room temperature. And even when you put them in the refrigerator, they stay liquid. And that's one of the things that we're going to be doing in upcoming episodes is you'll get to learn a little bit more, more about marination. Marinating your foods. Marination? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a word. Anyway, so we're going to learn all about how to marinate your foods um, using skinny fat and how you can find these coconut as a marinade. Right. And of course, we created something called skinny fat olive for the, a lot of the marinades because a lot of times we use olive oil to right. marinate things. We like that Mediterranean flavor, but what we don't like about olive oil is, is all those inflammation causing omega 6s, right? And so, you know, of course, our, our the medical society and nutrition at large tends to let's reduce those omega 6s in our diet. So what we did is we took our original skinny fat, which is the MCT and the organic virgin right. coconut oil, and we added in just a tad of the organic extra virgin olive oil. It's just a enough delicious to flavor. one that we source. Right. It tastes just like regular olive oil, but it has 85% less omega-6s in it. Right. And we use it just like we would regular olive oil. Right. A caprese salad, pesto, to so drizzle over meat mm. is just delicious. It's great. And a lot of times I like, well, you'll see later, but I like taking fresh herbs and making really, really intense flavored you know, um, oils right out of the skinny fat olive. But we'll be doing that in future ones for you guys. All right, so Today, let's get to the blue cheese. So okay. Mira, tell us how we're gonna do this, because again, this is one of my it's, favorite blue cheese recipes. If you, if you like wings, you're gonna love this sauce. It's so easy. Basically, you start off with the mayonnaise, about half of what you just made. I'm going to throw in some blue cheese. Now I got an organic blue cheese here, and a lot of people always say that blue cheese has gluten in it. Not all blue cheese has gluten. Right. Look for one that is gluten free. I don't do well with gluten myself. Right. We're so this both is gluten free. A, this is a gluten free blue cheese, about four ounces. Yep. And it really depends. Some people don't like intense blue cheeses. Some people like Rockford better. So really play with it and learn what you know what your favorite flavors are yourself. This is about a third of a cup of sour cream. Again, organic because we don't want it to have the RBST and RBGH growth hormones. Additionally, we want to make sure that the animals that it came from weren't fed genetically modified grains. Right, as you know, cows really are supposed to be eating grass, but that's not what happens today with our dairy cows and even the cows that are raised for meat. A lot of times they're fed genetically modified corn, genetically modified soy. So when you get the organic products, you protect yourself from that. Yeah, this is a really cool, uh, it's hard to find cream cheese sometimes that's organic and it's good quality. The Organic Valley organic cream cheese we happen to like, it doesn't have carrageenan, which is another thing they keep sticking in there, yeah. which is one of our poor foods. In our book, Rich Food, Poor Food, we mentioned right. that. We do not like carrageenan, so you gotta look, wanna look for something that's a, a better quality. And this is our, about four ounces of an organic cream cheese. Just dump it right in. And that's 
Now it's simple. really quite simple. All we're going to do now is I'm just going to put the top on and I'm going to blend. Now sometimes Mira will have me blend everything together except for the blue cheese and then she'll cr hand crumble the blue cheese. Yeah, it just depends how you like it. If you like it crunchy or if you, I mean, chunky. This is more like smooth. Yeah, yeah, if you're like a crunchier, smooth peanut butter person, this is kind of the same way. Now I don't mind it either way. This is going to be the smooth version we're going to do yeah. here. Yeah, if not I blend it all and I actually hand crumble all the rest of it in, but it's a video, so you're going to get the smooth version. So let's <laughs> see how well this works. I just kind of just shake it down down there, and then let's go. The magic so wand. we just kind of continuously shake it down. We'll do this three or four times, and it just blends in. Nice, creamy, blue cheese dressing. I like to keep it in these, uh, I do two different things. Sometimes I use the actual canning, you know, the balls, um, glasses, but this I actually like, I just like the glass lock. You know, I don't use any of the plastics anymore of any of the, what were those called? Those Tupperware. Tupperware. Yeah, very These are actually glass, glass ones, they lock. They're really easy to clean for storage and they keep things really, really fresh. So that we would just put in here, store in the fridge, and you've got your blue cheese for the week. Yeah. The second one we're going to do, this is just to show you how easily you can take mayonnaise to make it into a dipping sauce. Because remember, you're not afraid of mayonnaise anymore. Right. In fact, people who exercise and utilize MCT and coconut oil, they actually burn fat faster and they actually get to spare their muscle. So it's a really good for people who are athletic as well. So all I'm going to do here is, I made fish tonight, I'm making um, salmon cakes or salmon croquettes, however you want to call them. And I like to have a Cajun um, seasoning. Having gone to Tulane and New Orleans, that's like my flavor profile, what I like best on my salmon. We love spicy things, so the spicier the better. Yeah, so I just took some um, cayenne pepper, some Cajun spices, and some salt, because I have a salt-free one from Frontier. I think that's from Frontier. Mm -hmm. That's also coupons available in the Rich Food Resource Center for all these spices. And basically, I just take it a few tablespoons of whatever flavor I want to use, and this one I make Cajun. And I just mix it in, yeah. and that's really all it takes. Let it sit for um, definitely overnight because the the flavor from the spices actually comes out. Right. Another one that we like to do a lot of time is we love curry. Yeah. We like the curry spice in it, and I like that a lot on. Well, it can be on anything: lamb, chicken, beef. It just depends what you're cooking. But that's all it is, and it just basically flavors it. Yep. It's great also for um, lettuce wraps. Mm -hmm. When you're drinking lettuce wraps and you just want to add a little bit of moisture into that, make chicken salad. I mean, who doesn't love a good curry chicken salad? Mm, or a Cajun chicken salad. A Cajun chicken salad. So you can flavor your mayonnaise any which way you want. Just grab some good organic, non-irradiated spices. Right, and that's the reason we use the organic, is that irradiation. Remember, irradiation is like almost an x-ray. It goes through and creates free radicals in the spices which then exponentially increase as those spices just sit on your shelf for like six months. So the organic will make sure that they cannot irradiate. Another thing is if you're buying spice mixes, like this happens to be a spice mix, the Cajun one, make sure to check for hidden sugar. Right. A lot of them add in sugar, and I would say the majority of the ones in the grocery stores do, so you really want to read the ingredients list and make sure there's no hidden sugars and no MSG. Because again, MSG is going to make you overeat and it's just horrible for you. It's hiding under so many different names. You can learn all of this stuff that we're talking about, of course, in Rich Food, Poor Food. And But we do hope that you enjoy the blue cheese salad dressing. We hope you enjoy the Cajun mayonnaise that we've made here today. And we hope that you join us next time, once again, with a cooking <laughs> with the Colton. So until then, bon appetit, everyone. See ya. Bye. -bye. Bye.